Hey gamers, uh, today we're going to talk about teleprompters. <laughs> yeah, you heard me right, teleprompters. So a big part of making a YouTube video is ensuring you can relay the message to your viewers in a very clear and concise manner. For myself, I write scripts and I use uh, the Desview teleprompter, which you can see here. Uh, it has a cover on, I'll take that off. And then there's a handy dandy little remo remote here that I use to actually advance my script and uh, keep myself on pace. Because freeform talking, like I'm doing right now, is not very easy, especially when you're trying to talk about the features of a particular product or uh, relay a very specific message type. So I've always used a teleprompter and it's worked really well. So the Desview is a very simple teleprompter and it's, it's probably a little hard to see because this is reflective here. You're gonna see the camera above. Uh, but basically the way it works is I take my phone and I put it on the, uh, the, the holder device here and then it projects the script up onto the teleprompter. It works very well. Uh, absolutely enjoy it. I've used this thing very successfully for, used it very successfully for a, a number of months. But I've heard a lot of great things about the new prompter from uh, Elgato. And this is a very big box, so you can't really see it here, uh, but we'll get it unboxed. But uh, so I bought this to try to step up my teleprompter game and see if it's going to be better than this very simple Desview. Uh, teleprompter that I bought a while ago. So uh, this is the box, the packaging. Um, don't know if we can see all this stuff here, but in the box we've got the prompter, universal backplate, which is important if you want to mount it on a bunch of different devices, uh, face, cam back, uh, face cam pro backplate, which I don't use the, the face cam, the DSLR mirrorless backplate. This is what I use and I'll, I'll, I'll have to demonstrate how we slide it onto my camera. So I hope this uh, prompter from Elgato is really light. And then they have these steps that you actually put onto your lens. Uh, universal backplate, I won't be using that. Mounting screws, that would be important if you're gonna be uh, putting this somewhere uh, where you're gonna mount it, cleaning cloth, and then a couple other items. So, uh, US cable. So the one concern I have about this prompter is that you physically have to connect it to your, to your computer to use where the very simple um, desk view is no need. You just put your phone right here onto the uh, onto the mount, and you're you're good to go. The one thing I don't like about the desk view is that when you're trying to adjust the speeds, there's a too slow and just too fast speed. And it would have been nice if there was one right in between, which is really hard to explain if you've never used a teleprompter, but. Uh, that was my one concern, but that does few one works very well. Okay, well let's uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, prompter unboxed and let's see what's inside. It's a, it's a big box, so this is a little bit difficult to uh, fit onto the overhead camera. So this, I'm assuming, is the, uh, the connectors. This must be the device inside. Oh. That's the mount. Oh yeah, it's super light. Yeah, so it's, it's a super light package. So let's go ahead and unwrap it here it's nice and uh well packaged which is good so we'll uh get it out of the protective case here oh yeah that's definitely a bit more substantial than the uh, desk view simple one so we'll get this out of the way Okay, and then this is uh, this is the mounting bracket. I think this would be, yeah. So this is where you would uh, put your your put your camera on top here, and then you would mount. Oh, I'm sorry. You mount the camera here, and then you uh, mount this piece to something else. I 
I mean, for a heavy camera, that looks pretty flimsy. I would be very reluctant to put my expensive camera on that. So I, I think I won't be using this thing. So let's see what's in, let's see what's in this box before we go to the uh, teleprompter. Get this in camera, let's uh, open it up. Okay, so clearly an instruction guide. Oh, actually, pretty nice and pretty nice instruction guide. Okay, the USB USB cable is definitely needed. I, I'm assuming you can use any type of USB C cable. Um, I mean, this is actually oh, interesting. It's got a um, it's got a right angle USB C connector, which is which is interesting because that'll give you some flexibility. And then uh, a USB type A plug here. But I don't know why they didn't make it USB-C to USB-C because I use a MacBook. I think a lot of users would be using a MacBook and I'm going to need a USB-C to C cable, but that's okay. Let's put this back in the box because I'm probably not going to be using this cable. I do like the right angle uh, connector there. Okay, universal shroud and backplate for the DL DSL. Now, this is what I'm going to use. I don't know if you can see that, but this is what you use to slide over your lens. And uh, I think, so this, yeah, so so what you do is you put the ring onto the camera and then this this is the area that you slide over the ring to mount the, uh, to mount the prompter onto your camera. This is what we use, very similar to the desk view. And then I use, okay, and then this is for the, I think this is for the uh, camera. I don't, I'm not gonna use that, so we'll put that away. And then, oh, the rings are there, okay. This is the uh, cloth because you want to have a clear uh, reflective mirror when you're filming, and you definitely don't want fingerprints showing up on your on your screen. So this is actually pretty nice. We'll use that. So we'll put this back because I'm not going to use this bracket. And then these are the step up rings. And I again, like I said, I use 67 millimeter. So let's see, oh, they've got, okay, yeah, they've got all sorts of sizes in here. This is good, because this will give you um, a lot of different options in regards to to mount it. Let me see if this is coming through here. So here's, you use this ring, you uh, screw this onto your, onto your camera. This is 82 millimeters. Oh, I see, no, this is 82 millimeters. I just need the 67 one. And let's see, 67 millimeters. It's gotta be one of the, yeah, it's this one here. This is the one I'll be using. So, so you put this onto your, screw it on, use the backside here, and then you just screw it onto your uh, camera. So I'll keep that one out. So depending on what, what uh, type of lens you're using, you can use all different sorts. And this is really nice. These are really nice. They feel very quality, so. Uh, that's quite nice. So we'll put this back and let's take a closer look at the actual prompter. Let's get this out of the way. All right, so here's the actually the prompter. I'm going to tilt it up here so you can see it. So basically the way it works is, let's see if we can find the USB-C connector here. Uh, boy, where is the connector? Oh, there it is. So the USB type C connectors on the back and side by side, this would be how they stack up. It's hard to tell on the overhead camera. This, the desk view is definitely much smaller than the Elgato one. Weight wise, it, when I do a review, I'll do a, a weight. They feel about the same. I, you know, it's amazing, but the Elgato feels lighter and I think even with when you put the camera onto the desk view, I think it'll definitely be heavier, and and that's important because when you're putting this onto your onto your camera, you know it's it's putting weight onto the front. And I'm using um, uh, a 16 to 55 uh, Sony G lens, so it does stick out a little bit. So it's going to definitely put some stress on that lens. Uh, it's it's surprising, but the Elgato feels. A lot lighter, so that's really interesting. Uh, oh, I see. It does have it does have the camera, so I'm gonna have to take that off. 
and uh, let's see if we can so that just comes off so let, let's put on the ring mount and uh, that should just slide in like so let's see if we can get that on camera thumb screws which are very nice so that just plops on there and then, like I said, I'm gonna use the 67 ring. And so when you're sliding your camera in, that just pops in there and it's just like so. So that's really good. So that's super easy. Uh, there's the reflective window and you can tell it's, if you look at that relative to the desk view, oh, that, okay. This is a really nice feature. This very large window, reflective window, is really nice because it'll put a lot more text and so you won't have to race through your script if you're falling behind or hit pause scroll back which with the with the desk view you know it's that pacing of the the teleprompter which causes you problems and and this one the desk view has a very noticeable there's one that's just a little too slow and one step that, that's a little too fast which really throws you off i'm hoping the elgato uh, has a better timing. So so that's a quick unboxing of the Elgato prompter. I'm really looking forward to using it. Uh, I'm actually gonna use it tonight on a new video I'm doing to compare the uh, new Corsair K65 Plus to the, um, to the Azoth by Asus ROG. And I'm gonna actually use this and try it with my script. So uh, if you're looking for a teleprompter, stay tuned. I'm gonna uh, use this for a few weeks before I do a review. Uh, but I'm really excited to try this uh, new version of teleprompting and hopefully it works better for my YouTube creation workflow. So thanks for watching.